Just when you thought the world of AI was getting crazy, Meta casually drops yet another bomb that threatens to blow your mind. Soon, AI will be able to read your mind. Yes, you heard that correctly. Meta, the company behind Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, has announced that they are working on literally taking the images out of your brain using AI decoding. Yes, Meta claims that. With its latest advancements in AI, it'll soon be possible to decode images from human brain activity. Now I know what you're thinking. Don't worry, not literally, or at least not yet. How is that even possible, you ask? And what does it mean? Will we be able to just think something up and have robots or computers do it for us? Will people be able to read our minds without permission? Will there be thought police patrolling our brains? Alex Shepard here, AI Nexus. This sounds absolutely insane, but it could be something real, and very soon. Stick around for a moment, and I'll explain just what Meta is up to with this project and what it might mean. Not only for AI and technology, but for humanity as a whole. Now, for centuries or even millennia, humans have fancied being able to perform their relatively dark art of mind reading. For as long as people can remember, there have been con artists, scammers, magicians, and supposed telepaths who have claimed to possess the supernatural ability to know what other people are thinking. In most cases, even when such individuals are right, this is undoubtedly a lot of tricks and tactics, combined with some old-fashioned guesswork, that go into figuring out what a person is thinking. In any event, these alleged mind readers could soon be a thing of the past now that engineers are hoping to apply the latest technology to actually reading people's minds. According to one of their latest press releases, Meta plans on developing their AI to the point that they can literally pluck thoughts and images from your mind. According to Meta's announcement, the custom AI architecture can decode specific images viewed by individuals. They claim to have done this by using magnetoencephalography, or MEG. Try and say that word three times fast. So what is MEG? MEG is a non-invasive neuroimaging technique that measures the magnetic fields produced by neuronal activity in the brain. In other words, it's a technology that doesn't require opening your head or sticking any wires into your brain. Instead, it uses superconducting sensors called squids in order to capture information about the brain's dynamic process. And no, we're not talking about those little guys that float in the ocean. Think of it as a super smart camera for the brain. It safely captures the brain's activity by measuring the tiny magnetic fields our brain cells produce. Up to now, this technology has allowed researchers to study brain functions, including perception, cognition, and motor functions, in both healthy individuals and those with neurological disorders. Basically, with MEG, scientists can see how our brain works in real time, helping them study everything from how we think to why some people have brain disorders. Up to now, the focus of this technology has been studying disorders in patients with brain-related issues. However, now Meta plans on taking this medically-focused tech and synthesizing it with artificial intelligence. This technology is a giant leap from a simple binary yes or no brain machine interfaces. It allows researchers to get a vast amount of information from the brain. Meta's idea is to use AI to interpret this information and translate it so that somebody on the outside can see the thoughts, words, and images inside someone else's head. Now, before we get carried away with images of controlling tech with our minds, it's essential to understand that this technology is in its early stages. The current model focuses primarily on simple images and controlled settings. The model, while promising, is still in its early phases and requires further research and advancements. This does not, however, make the technology any less mind-blowing. For example, just think of what it means for the world of AI. It's a testament to just how fast AI is evolving and creating realities that might have seemed like science fiction just a few short years ago. At the same time, it shows that AI might be able to somehow be a key to unlocking universal communication. Imagine being able to communicate telepathically with people from other countries and cultures and being able to understand each other. Or imagine people who have language difficulties or people with neurological problems that make it impossible for them to talk. AI could make it possible for them to communicate freely and without limits. I mean, just imagine what this could mean. This could revolutionize accessibility. Imagine creating art, sending messages, or even controlling prosthetics using just your thoughts. Alex Shepard here. Gotta chime in for just a moment. I'm kind of excited about the potential ability to take the images in my head for the story I'm writing and see them in real life. While there are many potential applications, as a creative writer, that sounds pretty awesome to me. Of course, as with everything, there is a downside. While the above images are certainly utopic, there are also dystopian possibilities. For example, imagine if authorities in repressive states could get their hands on this kind of technology. They might use it to get information from political opponents or dissidents, or use it to violate people's rights to privacy. Criminals could certainly find applications for this, such as stealing valuable information from their victims. 
But again, as is often the case with AI developments, Meta appears to be moving forward, and they're not even the first ones to be doing it. For example, researchers and scientists at University of Texas in Austin have applied AI to decoding people's thoughts while being scanned in an MRI machine. These researchers found that the AI was able to very closely decode people's thoughts into words. In their work, researchers trained their AI algorithm. Then, individuals inside an MRI machine were shown videos, with the AI decoding the stimuli coming from the machine and turning into word descriptions of what they were seeing. This is absolutely nuts. Artificial intelligence able to read our minds and put it into text and image. It's almost like Dolly 2. Now, these models are still a long way from becoming everyday technologies, but the point is that this announcement from Meta isn't just about a singular AI breakthrough. It's a glimpse into a future where the boundaries between our minds and machines continue to blur. Anyone who has doubted that AI would change the world has already been proven wrong in recent months, and these kinds of mind-decoding technologies continue to prove the point. AI is obviously here to stay, and with every day that goes by, its possibilities appear limitless. Indeed, a world of boundless potential awaits, with many ethical mazes to navigate. At this point, new conversation about AI might be necessary. For example, who and how should this kind of technology be regulated, if at all? Should governments and businesses place limits on what we can do with AI, or should the free market be allowed to determine how far we can go? It does seem pretty clear that there are many immense benefits to this kind of technology, but there is still a long way to go and much work to be done. What do you think about these kinds of developments? Is humanity going towards a better future, or are we headed in the wrong direction? Should we be placing limits on what can be done with AI when it comes to decoding the human mind? Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe so we can keep bringing you content on the incredible world of AI. Now, want to see another insane development in the AI world? Then you need to see this video.